I really, really appreciate your excellency, Archbishop Corleone. Because not only did he read, lead the rosary, got my heart right there, Archbishop. Not only did he pray, not only did he call this blasphemous, he said an exorcism in Latin. We're going to talk about what that means. But first, I am going to run this clip. Hopefully, there's no problems with it. Here we go. We are here at the site where the statue of Father Sarah stood in Golden Gate Park that was uh, blasphemously torn down. An act of sacrilege occurred here. Love it. I love it. Your Excellency. This is what I want to see. People are saying, well, Marshall, why are you saying, why are you calling on Bishop Barron? Shouldn't you fly out to California and you stand there? Well, I guess I could, but I live in Texas. And they're like, well, what do you want him to do? I said on this on YouTube, I said, how about the bishops put on their big boy pants and their big boy cassocks and their big boy miters, get the croziers, go out to where this sacrilege happened and stand there and pray and denounce it. Well, thanks be to God, Archbishop Corleone did that. And notice the language he's using here. That is an act of the evil one. Evil has made itself present here. So we have gathered together to uh, pray to God and to pray, uh, ask the saints for their intercession above all our Blessed Mother uh, in an act of reparation. Does this sound Catholic to you? Sure does to me. We've got an act of sacrilege, blasphemy, work of the devil. So we're going to come together and we're going to pray. We're going to ask for reparation. We're going to seek the intercession of the saints and especially the Virgin Mary. Bravo, Your Excellency. Bravo. He took action. He went out and he called it for what it is. Sacrilege, blasphemy, demonic. And he said, let's go out and pray. Let's do this. Asking God's mercy upon us, upon our whole city, that we might turn our hearts back to him. We came together to pray the rosary as our lady asks us. Our Lady is always asking us to pray the rosary. History has shown that it can change the course of history. If we bind together in, in prayer and fasting and penance. Love this so much. Rosary change history. Every day, I say, if you don't pray the rosary, you're not on the team. The rosary keeps us from getting upset, stressed out, angry, discouraged, depressed about what's going on in the world. and reminds us that Jesus always wins. He chooses Our Lady as an instrument of grace. The rosary changes history. She gave it to St. Dominic to defeat all heresies. Look who's on the screen. Dominican friars with their rosaries. These guys know what's what. Battle of Lepanto. Everyone praying their rosaries on the knees. Defeated the Turks, the Mohammedan Saracens. And we won. Tur turned the course of history. So Archbishop Corleone knows What's what? And I praise him. I just, Your Excellency, well done. Well done. But especially in the prayer of the rosary. So we came together to pray the rosary and then to offer the prayer of uh, exorcism, the St. Michael prayer, because evil is present here. This is the activity of the evil one who wants to bring down the church, who wants to bring down all Christian believers. This is exactly what a bishop should do. And I call upon Archbishop Gomez of Archdiocese of Los Angeles and Bishop Barron and all the auxiliaries of L.A. You boys need to put on your big boy cassocks and get your holy water and your rosary. And y'all need to go down to where the statue was torn down in L.A. and do the exact same thing that Archbishop Cordelioni has done. This should be the game plan moving forward. A. At the end of the show, I'm going to give you a game plan to how we can prevent this stuff from happening. But when it does happen, this is the pious, holy, pastoral, I use the word pastoral, but I use it in the real way, response to desecration sacrilege. We offer that prayer and bless the, this ground with holy water uh, so that God might purify it sanctify it and that we in turn might be sanctified the presence of so many wonder faith wonderful faithful here was a real uh, moment of i mean we got <laughs> i love this we got holy water we got the archbishop he's got the purple stole on for doing the exorcism we got some incense in the air we got this guy right here he's waving the american flag god bless america everything is right right in this video the only thing wrong 
is that hoodlum thugs, Antifa people, pulled down a statue of a saintly padre, Father Junipero Serra. But the response here is on point. I want everybody in the rosary tonight to pray a decade for Archbishop Corleone and all these good people with him right now because this right here is Catholicism on display. Comfort for me. I've been feeling great distress and uh, sort of a deep wound in my soul when I see these horrendous acts of blasphemy and, and of disparaging of the memory of Sarah, who was such a great hero, such a great defender. He's defending the legacy. See, I worry that a lot of these clergy and bishops out on the West Coast, deep down, they think that Junipero Serra was a bad guy. Like, oh, I just hope this story goes away. We can just forget this. You know, Junipero Serra, he was this guy in the 1700s, and maybe he did some bad stuff. So let's just kind of go into our holes well, and we'll just, no, that's cringe. That's horrible. We, he's defending, Archbishop here is defending the history, memory, and legacy of this apostle of California. Catholics in California need to rally and defend the memory. So everything here is good. As you, you, can you guys tell that I like this? Indigenous people of this land. Uh, someone who was a very much a part of my own life growing up. As I did, I grew up very close to the first mission that he founded in San Diego. So it was a, inflicted a deep wound in my soul, and I've been very distressed. So the presence of so many people here was, was a great comfort and support to me. I'm, I'm deeply grateful to them. The first and most important thing for Catholics, of course, is to, to pray. So I encourage them to continue to pray, to pray the rosary uh, two years ago. At the request of some of the faithful here in San Francisco, I consecrated the Archdiocese to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and have been calling for living the consecration through daily prayer of the Rosary, through a weekly adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, and through a fasting and other acts of penance, but especially Friday fasting. Remember earlier I talked about our Catholic toolbox? Well, apparently Archbishop Corleone has a big Catholic toolbox that's fully loaded. He's using the right terms, but he's also talking about, hey, I consecrated my diocese, Immaculate Conception. I'm encouraging fasting and penance in my diocese. Penance on Friday. When was the last time we heard a bishop talk about that? Been a while for me. All I hear about is immigration and social justice. Nothing about ho holy, solid, Catholic. How do I get to heaven? How do I become a saint? Pray the rosary. Do penance, fast, say no to yourself. Man, this is just legit, I love it. So I would ask our people to pray and to fast and then to inform themselves. There's uh, a lot that people don't know. There's a lot of ignorance of the real history. So I'd ask our people to learn about the history of Father Sarah, of the missions, of the whole history of the church so they can appreciate the great legacy the church has given us, giving the world so much truth, beauty, and goodness. Not only is he saying this is a desecration and it's evil, not only is he calling, using this opportunity to sanctify souls and say, pray the rosary, fast, he's also using it as a teaching moment saying, look, you need to know about who Junipero Serra was. Why is he important? If you're a Catholic in California, you should know about Junipero Serra backwards and front. And he says, you need to know about the history of the Catholic Church. So w w this is wonderful. You already heard me say all the things that need to be said, but this is a moment where an archbishop went down to the site of a desecration and he said, this is wrong, it's sacrilegious, it's blasphemous, it's demonic. I'm gonna do the exorcism, sprinkle this place with holy water, looks like there was incense there, sprinkling people with holy water, using as a teaching opportunity to say, hey, let's, let's learn about who Junipero Serra was, Let's teach people. Let's learn our Catholic history. Let's be apologists. Let's defend. Let's not be ashamed of our history. Legit. All the way across. Those of you who are, are viewing, may Almighty God send his blessing down upon you and it may it remain with you forever, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.